Pete, I've got a new shiny vSAN cluster and I've got some workloads that are dying to move there. What do I need to think about for each kind of given VM? What should I look at before I move it over? Well, I think the first few things that you'll want to uh, consider when you're moving those, and, and we certainly have a lot of options for moving those VMs over, whether it's, you know, shared nothing vMotion and things of that nature, but just uh, uh, considerations around uh, what are the expectations of, of uh, the VM once they get migrated? So for example, uh, you may want to uh, take a look at what the performance characteristics of that VM are on the old cluster, so that then when you migrate them uh, to the new cluster, you can get a good understanding of, is it better or is it worse? And if so, then you can you know drill in to see in the reasons why. That's the one part. The other part would be looking at some of the capacity considerations that you may have. So um, when it comes to capacity within vSAN, we present storage capacity in, in its raw form. Uh, and then you're going to assign a, a level of failures to tolerate that is going to you know, replicate the data synchronously across that vSAN cluster. So it's going to consume additional space in order to protect that data. So you'll just wanna be mindful of, of things like that um, so that you can better understand when you migrate that VM over, is it something that uh, you are satisfied with as a result? And even uh, taking a step back before you make that migration, if it's a system that maybe it's running a much older version of an operating system, you've had it around for a long time, it's running Red Hat 5 or, or uh, Windows Server 2008 or something, maybe it's a good time for you to simply rebuild that VM. And then you're running the latest virtual hardware associated with it uh, and all of the other optimizations. No, I like that idea on, you know, use this as an opportunity to, to make sure you don't have some, some legacy systems that are uh, no longer able to get patches lingering around. I also like that, understand the performance demands, you know, look at what it was getting before to use that as kind of your benchmarks. And, and lastly, on that capacity, uh, and kind of to add to that, maybe we make sure that those are thin when they come in, if they were thick before. I know that was a common practice. Everyone had eager zero thick tattooed on their arm. And now they're like, oh, I guess thin provisioning <laughs> is where we go. But make sure we're ready for that unmap reclaim and things like that. So good stuff. The challenge with migrating over VMs isn't on a technical perspective. It's just you're migrating over maybe some poor practices and some bad habits. And this is an opportunity maybe to revisit those. All right, New Year's resolution: uh, clean up, um, clean up all my VMs when I migrate them in. So yes, or migrate now, fix later. Mm, procrastination—it's drawing me in. <laughs>